yes i give to fathers i give to contemporaries i give to senior colleagues i give to sons and daughters subordinates i give to all men christians non-christians i give giving is living hallelujah you want to secure the enviable hand of god upon your life let giving provoke you this is what brought the hand of god to solomon he offered a thousand bond offerings i'm at a realm in my life right now where we're entering the zone of sacrificial givings this is my business with god now as far as giving is concerned he said i will not give god anything that will not cost me nothing i've shared with you and i'm saying it here on air it was last year it's been a long time since god gave me that instruction i give always it's my life and i say it with joy and with no apologies but last year god would come to me and he gave a very heavy instruction a sacrifice that koinonia would give and i said lord it is you i believe you i know that every time you challenge people it is because there's something good coming i said to god be the glory so be it and then the next instruction now comes to me and the lord said what have instructed koinonia to give you give twice it let me tell you no matter how rich you are you will feel that believe me ah i said lord i've rolled on the ground many times to tell you call me na na kane call me na na kane call me na na kane ya yesu Yeshua Hamashiach Koi nanakane Yeshua Hamashiach Koi nanakane And I said, Lord, is that it? I will not tell you the amount. But you use your mind. Ask God to tell you. And I said, Lord, if it is for you, what do I have? A man can receive nothing. Let me tell you the truth. When I dropped those seeds, I entered a dimension in the spirit and even in my finances. Every instruction God gives the saints is not for his benefit. Let me say it again. Every instruction God gives the saints is not for his benefit. Many give foolishly, many give blindly what makes your giving powerful is not just releasing it is the revelation the love for jesus and the understanding of what you are doing i remember when i released that seed a a level of peace i have enjoyed the peace of god in my life but this dimension of peace flooded me and i said this is it do you know what god can do over a man's finances when god starts to wake people because of you it, it will be as if you got something from a native doctor and put it in your back pocket that is causing this my god Kai, many believers don't know god oh do you know that your refusal to give is proof that you don't trust god please help them your refusal to give is proof that you do not trust god are we together there is nothing in my life today I cannot give God. We rise by sacrifice. We rise by sacrifice. We rise by sacrifice. I wish I had the time to list for you certain sacrifices that I do every year, every period, my birthday period. Now that Koinonia is done, there are moments in my life every year when you see God lifting some of us. It's not just luck it's not just anointing there are practices there is blood dripping upon the altar are we together there's no point lying to you i'm teaching you this so that you will understand yes you can do business you can do all of these things but the spiritual root the spiritual root the spiritual root many people do not know how to connect to the realm of the spirit when you walk alone you will be slow but when god holds your hands you will fly which one is better what you have by yourself is not even enough to take care of you it cannot take care of you 
my brother how do you ever believe you are going to build a house now do you know we were traveling somewhere and i was lamenting we we're discussing in the vehicle i said the way the world is now the average young man except god assist him you will never build a house in your lifetime i'm telling you with dignity oh no how much do you know how much a house is now whether to buy or to build i'm being realistic to train children every other thing you have three or four children school fees now is running to the hundreds of the thousands and the millions cost of living how much is a bag of rice minus the next two weeks now and you don't want to steal you don't want to kill you don't want to prostitute yourself you don't want to do ritual um, money ritual ladies and gentlemen if you do not know god's way this is why many young men are getting frustrated now they went to school they paid the price they are graduates and whether they they work or don't work is not showing in the finances even those who are doing well now maybe you are the only lady doing well there are 10 other people connected to you who are not doing well so your one million per month is looking like 10 naira by the time you tight and now this one happens then the devourer comes to kill maybe your two or three brothers and all the children now come to live with you satan for you please listen to what i'm telling you and find your way out of this misery that is plaguing the globe now the the number one secret is your spiritual root your spiritual root i cannot afford to run my life and run koinonia not verifying the assistance that comes from heaven you can have a job and have five million naira and all of a sudden they tell you your heart has failed and they say you need eight million naira to do a bypass surgery and that's the end of it all that money you have gathered your business sense is still there but you're about to die and by the time you do, you survive it your life has gotten back to square one have you seen people who save for 30 years and spend that money in one month if god does not assist you you are only gathering to scatter is god speaking to someone now this is very important your tight is your spiritual insurance by understanding it is true you're giving most people don't give most people do not give let me teach you something in the kingdom you give upwards to rise upwards when you want to rise financially giving by the side or giving down is wonderful but the way you go upwards in the kingdom is to give upwards i never as a principle and i say it to god's glory i never approach any of the fathers of faith with my hands empty no even if i bump into them i have to find a way to say ah look this and it's not a ritual it's not by compulsion it's by understanding do you know many years for those who have been in this ministry i struggled collecting seeds from people because i hate manipulation and so when people bring seeds i will just bless them and go i'll say kai i don't i don't want all these people have money pastors have manipulated people and i don't like it god just bless me bless the people one day during a retreat the lord rebuked me and he said other people received your seeds and blessed you to rise higher if you stop receiving from these people and to speak a blessing on them they will remain at that level i repented before the lord and i cried i said lord grant me grace it's just a weakness of my personality till today i still struggle collecting money from people once i'm done counseling people or talking if i see people checking their bag or reaching out to their pocket it will be as if even when i go to preach today as 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 i am now i go to preach in a church or i go to preach in a place once i am done if i have my way i almost want to run away if i see the people calling me and i see someone holding a little uh, uh hamper if the, if the honorarium is food i'll collect and eat and all of that but once i see envelopes or whatever it is or asking for my account number it's a weakness maybe you pray for me hallelujah but even at that god told me that if you reject if you do not give these people there is a grace on you and i brought them to your life i connected them to the ministry so that they can rise and if you do not receive their seeds and speak blessings upon them you will leave them low and it will be your fault 
Everybody say giving. Listen to what I'm teaching you. May a curse rest upon me if I'm deceiving you and misleading you. You see, I love you too much to come here and waste your time. I'm showing you how this thing works in the kingdom. You ignore what I'm telling you and one day you will look back and say, I would have listened. Is someone getting blessed? Spiritual laws. <laughs> Spiritual laws. When God begins to move over men, move over men straight and you don't have to be a man of god for this to work so don't think it's because people know you on social media no just because human beings know you does not mean they will bless you god has given me instructions to bless people in koinonia people i do not even know sometimes i have to call the heads of department or call this and say who is so 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 person with this name ah is this one there are two of them who is this one and the lord will tell me is this person say, okay give me the person's account number and the person does not even know they will just be sitting down and because god instructed me to bless them so don't tell me it's because i'm on stage it's a lie if you don't practice this it will not work it's as simple as that there are many people who can help you and lift you there are many people who have the wherewithal but if the father of spirits does not speak to them you will not get their attention hallelujah hallelujah i remember some some person one day who I, I, you got to reach me and said apostle you don't know me but a b c d i am this this and that person the lord put it in my heart to do this i said oh really what is it when he told me what god put in his heart to do i said ah but this life is not fair what in the world is this this man now has relatives so he has relatives who are angry with him, cursing him every day, carrying his name to every shrine and say, Lord, this wicked man must give. And he left them and he was coming to look for a number of a man of God or a believer. And now wants to begin to bless you in this and that manner. Whatever has deceived you, whatever has kept you greedy, that releasing and giving, whether to God or to his prophets or for whatever form of giving i'm praying for you with the heart of a father in the name of jesus let that spirit live your life forever koinonia i have an assignment not just to see you spiritually vibrant but that by the grace of god you can rise to a life of dignity for god's sake a life of dignity all right Fasten your seatbelts and let's see how God will help us. Ecclesiastes chapter 10 and verse 15. Ecclesiastes 10, 15. Let's read together. Please write and then read. Ecclesiastes 10, 15. Ready? One to read, please. The labor of the foolish wearied every one of them because he knoweth not how to go into the city. One more time. The labor of the foolish wearied every one of them because he knoweth not how to go into the city. The foolish there not being a sarcastic statement, not an insult, is a description of one who is void of knowledge. The Bible calls them simple or it calls them foolish. The Bible says it will weary them. Why? Because they do not know how to go into the city. Not because there is no city. That realm of reality is a possibility. But to know how to go there. Now, how wealth works. Make reference to a number of my teachings, the power to get wealth, and then um, one other that I preached about deliverance from financial captivity. You may want to make reference to them so that certain elementary things that you need to have, I may not go into them. For instance, in that teaching, my last teaching on wealth, I defined a number of things. I defined the difference between wealth and riches. When you talk about riches, you talk about abundant supply of financial resources. But when you talk about wealth, you talk of the availability of abundant financial resources alongside the systems. Are we together? The systems that guarantee replenishing. The difference between wealth and abundance is that while abundance deals with the presence of resources 
wealth deals with the presence of resources plus systems that have been put in place to guarantee replenishing are we together now so just because a man has abundance does not mean he's wealthy i can give you 10 million naira now you are well you are rich but you are not wealthy because you have abundant financial resources and with it you can do a lot of things you are now rich you can become wealthy but you are not yet wealthy wealth is not just measured in the amount of money but is measured in the kind of financial systems you have put around your life to guarantee that there is no depletion that you keep going higher and higher in the name of jesus christ the first way wealth works and i want you to listen my dear people I have taught you that wealth is centered around principles and laws. Everything that God designed starts from the realm of the spirit. Please let me have your attention. In Genesis chapter 1, man came as a spirit before a bodily material frame came to the man. When the Bible gave God that dominion mandate in Genesis 1, 26 to 28, when he says, let them have dominion, he was not speaking to the dark earth, Adam. He was speaking to the spirit of man. Are we together now? Let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, fowl of the air, cattle, and so on and so forth now. So you need to understand that in order of divine happenings, things first happen in the realm of the spirit, and then they manifest physically. Are we together now? The calamity of Job started in the realm of the spirit. Then the Bible says there was a certain day when it manifested. From the foundations of the earth, the lamb was slain, a spiritual reality. But there was a certain moment in time when it happened. So when it has to do with the subject of wealth, it starts from the realm of the spirit. To approach the subject of wealth just from an economic standpoint, are we together? Or just from a physical standpoint, you have already missed it. Occultists know this. Non-Christians know this. Very few believers know this. That in approaching the subject of wealth, regardless what your spiritual orientation is, the truth is that the proper foundation for wealth is the realm of the spirit. The same way when you look at a tree, please look at me. How many of you know that the growth of a tree starts from under the ground? The invisible part you cannot see before it comes up. Am I right on that? When you plant a mango seed, when you plant an orange seed, the day you see the shoot coming up, is that the day it started growing? No. Something begins to happen from under the earth that you cannot see. Just because you cannot see it does not mean it is not happening. That, that initial growth is the system and the structure that will maintain it when it becomes a giant oak tree. Am I right on that? So it is with the realm of the spirit. You don't throw a seed on the ground. You don't throw a mango seed on the ground. An orange seed on the ground. And then expect a tree from that on the ground. No. You have to open the ground. Throw it and cover it. What happens there now can be studied scientifically. But to the layman's eyes, you take it that this is an invisible thing happening that you cannot see. And from it most people go up and down financially because your wealth is only economic it does not have a spiritual root man is a spirit he lives in a body midwifing that body and that spirit is the solical faculties that makes that person a soul it is an order that must never be compromised the day on earth starts from the realm of the spirit it is not chronological time that controls day and night. The root of our day is in the realm of the spirit. Everything that happens, happens in the realm of the spirit. The sea that we see today came from the realm of the spirit. The earth that we see today came from the realm of the spirit. The wind that we see today came from the realm of the spirit. Everything that we see today, according to Hebrews 11 and verse 3, came from the realm of the spirit. So, attempting to become wealthy God's way and ignoring the realm of the spirit will only be you wasting your time. Because manipulations happen there. Solomon got it right. His prosperity started from the realm of the spirit. Nation of Israel, the realm of the spirit. David, the realm of the spirit. The rich fool, the problem 
with his wealth is that there was no spiritual connection in that his allegiance was just to his wealth there was no spiritual root and he said this day your soul is demanded of you what does that mean that means adherence to spiritual laws in order of priority adherence to spiritual laws is the foundation of understanding how money works adherence to spiritual laws i gave you about a, a number of them but majorly number one the law of absolute surrender remember that the first spiritual law that governs wealth and abundance is not tithing tithing is an important law but the first law is absolute surrender when god comes to a man he's not looking for your money he's looking for your heart he says my son give me your heart and let your ears be inclined to my ways it is when god gets your heart that your money becomes profitable hallelujah there are people who give god money there are people who do a lot of things but their hearts are not with god in god's economy your heart matters beyond your resources it is the state of your heart that gives value to your giving gives value to whatever you do in this kingdom the law of absolute surrender number two the law of the tithe it's very important there are all kinds of arguments in the world today about tithe i believe in tithing i'm a tithing individual with revelation by revelation and with joy koinonia is a tithing ministry with revelation by revelation with joy and for as long as i live this is a principle and an ordinance with understanding void of compulsion and the fruits are there to show are we together every believer in christ every man of god with all due respect has a right to teach whatever they believe god has told them including myself it is your responsibility as a responsible believer to stay with the holy spirit and vet from the lens of scripture even in light with the of the results that follow the bible says follow them who through faith and patience have obtained the promise i believed in tithing period it is a conviction that came void of compulsion i'm a student of scripture i have studied my bible i have stayed with god and as a leader i owe you a responsibility to plant in you your conviction do not let anything anything threaten your diligence to tight with understanding are we together in addition to tithing the covenant of giving now ladies and gentlemen hear me i'm sharing with you in summary the spiritual principles if you do not give god will not hate you but you will suffer the consequences of violating his principles the epitome of love still has people going to hell today and he's watching them because as much as he loves them he gave them the option to choose and some of them chose not to trust him and he respected their choice and they are now today in hell are we together i do not believe in being threatened or threatening people that if you do not give god hates you god is mad at you the bible does not reveal that however the bible lets us know that there is something called the immutability of his counsel that by the oath and the promise let it be known that god does not lie are we together and that by the surety that comes by the oath that god himself swore by himself he says my covenant will i not break nor alter that which is proceeded from my mouth the ordinances of the kingdom do not dance or bend to prejudices and biases it is god's desire you are left with the option of choosing god's way and one of the mysterious ways by which we connect to the blessing in the kingdom is through giving 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 all kinds of giving giving by love giving with understanding from your worship offering your seed faith prophetic connections and all kinds of givings as i have taught there i'm not going into that because there are still other serious things i want us to deal with but ladies and gentlemen koinonia global listen to me let me speak to you from a standpoint of leadership fatherhood responsible spirituality if you are not a giver you will be poor write it down if you are not a giver you believe me if you believe i love you with all my heart 
and you believe I will not lie to you. I am telling you this. I'm saying this because some of you are not givers and you are wondering why finances are not working for you. Sincerely, ladies and gentlemen, let me tell you, if you are not a giver, you will be poor. If you are an occasional giver, you will have occasional supplies. Giving is one of the mysterious spiritual forces that is responsible. I, I wish I had the time. This, this is a topic for next year, so I won't go in. Next year, there is a teaching that I have prepared called the giving grace. And I'm going to teach you why God mandates that believers give. One of the ways that believers give is to conquer, or the reason why God mandates people to give is to conquer idolatry, the worship of things. One of the ways why God tells believers to give, anytime you give a thing, it is because you have risen above it. Anything you cannot give, it is an act of worship. Your refusal to give it is a sign that it is above you. Are we together now? It's very important. Most people do not know why God asks us to give. He said, if I need anything, is it you I'm going to ask? God is the creator of the ends of the earth. There are people who never give. They say, I don't have. They never give, not to God's program, not to the betterment of anyone, and yet their hands are ever open to receive. It does not work that way. I say it again, my dear people, if you do not give and give consistently, believe me by the integrity of scripture, you will be poor, mysteriously poor. You may have your job running, you will be surprised that you will be poor. Do you know why? Because number one, you have received Jesus as Lord and Savior in your, of your heart. And that already you have drawn a battle line. The devil has a special interest in you. If you are an unbeliever, he still will attack you, but it's not priority. But now, by reason of being the believer yourself, are we together now? Oh, he will come to attack your finances for sure. There are many people who are not givers. Koinonia, some of you here, I need to teach you. Some of you have never given. You don't give. You don't give. Responsible Christianity builds and trains believers to understand giving from a standpoint of love and joy. One naira never leaves your account except it's for yourself. My food, my trouser, my transport, my fuel, gas, my house. Ah, that's fine. But any other thing, worst off the kingdom. And yet people roll and say, Lord, I love you with all my heart. There are believers when they are looking for contracts, when they are looking for all kinds of things, they don't mind emptying their accounts to buy all kinds of gifts and take it to someone who is human. And then the person says, oh, you came to see me. Drop the gift there. I'll see you after two months. And they say, thank you, sir. He didn't see you, didn't acknowledge the gift. And there are people who cannot come to God. Ay, 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 ay. Glory be to God. Ay, 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 ay. Glory be to God. Ay, 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 ay. Glory be to God. Ay, 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 ay. Ay, 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 ay. Glory be to God. Can I tell you? I submit to you by the authority of Scripture. This man you see standing before you. My life started not just with spirituality. But with giving today we stand by the privilege of god's grace empowered to do what we do today on the strength of giving and for all the days of my life there is no 24 hour in my life that i don't give significantly i'm not saying this to brag it is the truth is for me it has become a lifestyle to wake up in the morning and sleep in the night and not give no 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 i will go for a retreat it means something is wrong and don't think that when preachers speak like this or when people speak like this it's because they have all the money in the world start giving is an attitude it's not about the availability of money are we together i pray for you the spirit of greed there are preachers that don't give and keep envying others who are flying high and many preachers when they hear messages that challenge giving they embrace it not because they like it 
but because the message met lost that is already within there i am a giver and i know what god has done in my life koinonia is a giving ministry and i know what god has done there is no power in existence no enchantment that can fight the finances of this ministry i can tell you it is by the spirit of god by engaging giving you know how many people eat because god has kept us alive where is death going to come from there are prayers of people that has built immunity against the waster one mama somewhere who by the privilege of god's grace we have gotten food to her will stand on her feet and say lord keep this man of god this is the man feeding me yes sir yes sir i was eyes to the blind job said there are many many people just greedy around and thinking god blesses them there is nothing that enters my hand i wish i had the liberty to share some things many of you would not believe it when resources enter my hand god is my witness the first thing in my mind is the kingdom not myself the kingdom not myself how many things can you eat honestly how many things can you eat the kingdom ah this one now what do we do with this now oh the kingdom finally this can go this can go for the kingdom hallelujah every day and every week in this ministry millions and millions fly around for various reasons by the grace of god it came by giving you are seated today because of the power of giving you are comfortable today we are able to teach you with integrity and not manipulating you because of giving make it as a kingdom responsibility when god blesses you have it at the back of your mind that giving is a covenant for all responsible believers god honors it if you have been given out of ritual stop calm down study it have a revelation then now give with understanding hallelujah god bless you so much welcome to reflector hub youtube channel are you sick are you depressed are you confused are you feeling disappointed maybe my family friends loved ones is ministry not working in this business crumbling get set because i believe the word of the lord by the mouth of his servants apostle joshua selman god he said to gear you up he said to stir you into the fullness of the purpose of your life everything god has said in his word must surely come to pass pray the prayers and ensure you get revived ensure you build up your faith pray in the spirit seeing that everything god has said about your life comes to pass don't forget to subscribe if you are a new viewer on this channel and also ensure that you share with your loved ones, family and friends. God bless you.